Welcome to another video in the Lantic Tutorials, a comprehensive series. Coming back to the leveling, and here we see that we not only label a figure or a table, we can label a chapter, we can label section, subsection, equation. This is a very compact example. You can direct copy paste this one and you will get the result. But let me do all this thing one by one. Like I'm just coming here to the chapter and this chapter is saying introduction. So if I have introduction like this, then I can label it with this command and I will say slash and level so it comes in here and now I'm just labeling a chapter so ch colon so the label of the chapter first is ch colon and I have written as this here I will write that the first chapter is the introduction chapter which is chapter and I will give reference to this and this is ch1 here which is chapter 1 in this book and I will run this command And it says here that this is chapter is the introduction chapter which is chapter one in this book so it has level it is chapter one now if I insert another chapter here like the abstract is the chapter slash chapter and I write abstract and now I build this and you will see that here chapter 1 is the abstract and here chapter 2 is now introduction and it has changed it to chapter 2 that introduction chapter is the chapter 2 so this is the benefit of the labeling similarly if for example I am having a section in this chapter like section and the section of this one is let's say historical background so in a historical background let's say is this section is introduced and you see 2.1 historical background and now if for example I want to level this section so slash level and here I will write sec and colon and then I write this is S1 this is my first section for example I labeled it like this and here I say the historical the historical background is being discussed in the section and I say slash reference yes here and I make a full stop and now I build this and it shows me the historical background has been discussed in section 2.1 and now if I introduced another section slash section and here I say introduction 
so it will change this from 2.1 to 2.2 introduction is now 2.1 historical background is now 2.2 so I don't need to have any concern inside the text if I change remove or add any section similarly if for example I remove this one so comment this one as chapter and I build this so you can see now that this is chapter 1 introduction it has changed it to chapter 1 and here it has changed it to 1.2 similarly inside this one we can write the subsection labeling slash subsection and here is the subsection and let's say here I only see history till 2000 for example and I label this slash level and here is this is the sub section and colon and here I say subsection one for example the labeling of it and I say tell 2000 the history till 2000 the history is being covered in section slash reference and here I give subsection this and I build this and you see history till 2000 and now this is these are the sections and now this is the subsection history till 2000 till 2000 the history has been covered in section 1.2.1 similarly going on with this I can level an equation as well and for the equation I will write an equation and then I can say that this equation is this one this number so let's come here and slash begin equation and here is equation and let's say I write y equal mx plus c and I label this equation slash label and here I will write eq and colon and let's say this is straight line equation for example SLE I have given the label to it and here I say that the straight line equation is represented by equation and post all now in order to number this equation I will write slash reference and this is equation SLE and full stop and I build this and here I can see the straight line equation is represented by equation 1.1 this is equation 1.1 y equal mx plus c so we try to learn how to give it the equation number or the labeling to an equation in this chapter 1 I have discussed the labeling of a chapter then the labeling of a section then the labeling of a subsection labeling of equation labeling of figure and labeling of the table and now let's say I'm just writing a final sentence here which is actually was in the compact example of the book here so I will write this one in chapter slash reference and this is chapter one 
subsection or I write section section and now I give section reference and the section is S1 discuss the straight line discuss the straight line equation and I say reference and this is the equation in its subsection and let's say reference and the subsection is this one it means labeling this one and this one so I have written all these at this on page so we now give to reference to a page as well and here we will have to write a different command like what we do here and this is page reference in chapter intro so the page is of the chapter or you can give a page of section as well no problem with it so page and i write slash page and this is page reference and here i give this page reference is we are over here or this is section this so i give it sub section this one is this one okay let me double enter this one and i will to start a new paragraph and here it is in chapter one section this discuss the straight line equation this and its subsection 1.2.1 on page 5 so if the page number will change the section will change the subsection will change even the chapter will change it will be changing all those automatically in the printout these uh, red squares or rectangles will not appear they are just for showing the hyperlinks that you click here for example this is equation 1.1 and I click equation 1.1 so it is here so in a long PDF document like 100 to 200 pages you just click and you will be there thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video